It's no secret that I'm a big fan of the Haiku operating system, that fantastic open source successor to the fabled 90s BOS. But what would happen if instead of old underpowered laptops, you threw an Intel Core i9 at it? So today, let's go down to my local micro center and build a brand new top of the line, way overkill PC specifically to run Haiku. So stay tuned. And if you enjoy obscure, lightweight operating systems, I hope you'll consider subscribing to the channel. So I've mentioned this idea in the past, just going into Micro Center, picking up off the shelf components and building an ultimate haiku machine. And many of you have said, that's ridiculous. Don't be silly. That's not what haiku's for. And that's all the convincing I need. Plus my local Micro Center said that not only could I film in their store for this, but Micro Center is actually now sponsoring this video. Hey Jeff, some guy wants to film in here. What's he filming? I don't know, he's gonna read a haiku or something. And what I really wanna build is an homage to the venerable B-Box, that beautiful short-lived BOS specific machine that B sold before transitioning to software only. So with that in mind, let's go annoy my local micro center. And I feel so lucky to live right down the street from the Micro Center in St. David's, PA. And really all of us here in the US are so lucky to have a real thriving, dedicated computer and technology chain. I mean, it's just so wonderful to go down to a store, walk around, browse computer gear. <laughs> And not just a smattering of components, I mean, it's everything from top of the line video cards to, uh, <laughs> wait, what is that? Is that what I think it is? It's a freaking RGB Firewire 400 cable. Where else on our good green earth can you walk into a store and buy an RGB Firewire 400 cable? Or just peruse PC cases? Or even, you know, talk to people who are actually passionate about building computers. But enough gushing about PC brick and mortar, we're here at Micro Center with a singular, ridiculous goal, to build the ultimate Haiku PC. And to that end, the core of this is going to be an Intel Core i9 Unlocked 12900K. And after reading some reports on the Haiku forums, I'm gonna go with this Asus Prime Z790 Wi-Fi and I'm hoping that this onboard Wi-Fi will work with Haiku and 32 gigs of DDR5 memory. Walking around the build your own department is just wonderful. It feels so good to be in a store touching physical things, picking up components and looking at them, and they have a lot of components. <laughs> Check it out, it's a Street Fighter Chun-Li themed all-in-one water cooler from Cooler Master. I have to get it, it's too funny. Honestly, I'm in this store like once a week because there's a ton of stuff that I need. They have 3D printing stuff, including filament. Once again, great to be able to look at it, pick it up, touch it. And I do go through a lot of fricking 3D printer filament. Oh, and if you're considering getting into 3D printing, Micro Center is actually running a great deal on the Creality Ender 3 S1 just 149 bucks for new customers. Make sure you check out the links down in my description for a bunch of great Micro Center deals. And <laughs> thank you so much Micro Center for sponsoring today's shenanigan. So time to cart my stuff home and build a Haiku overpowered powerhouse. Now again, I know that this Core i9 unlocked build is way overkill for Haiku, but I actually do have a few legitimate reasons that I wanna try this. One, I wanna see how many CPU meters Pulse will show, but more seriously, I wanna try some bleeding edge stuff, like see how good we can actually get the unofficial Minecraft install to run. And I'm also considering doing some software development, or at least some porting attempts to Haiku. So uh, anyway, on to the build. All right, so let's power through this build because, well, this is action retro and uh, <laughs> this build is, Kind of not very retro at all. <laughs> Ooh, very nice. Ch 
Chun Li AIO. This is so funny. Oh no. I may have misjudged the size of this radiator. <laughs> well, it may not be perfect, but that's exactly what we like around here. Okay, now before we put this all the way together, let's make sure it can actually boot Haiku. See, I've popped a quick H on there for Hornets. I mean, Haiku. And since this motherboard actually has a PS2 port, we can use our beloved $1 thrift shop keyboard. Hey, look at that. All right, well, before we test this out too much, let's just see if we can install to the SSD. And uh, if that doesn't work, we'll have to go with an older style SATA SSD. Applications, drive setup. Ooh, there it is, NVMe. Let's uh, initialize it, GUID. Create a 100 meg partition called EFI boot, EFI system data, format that as FAT32. I've got a good feeling about this. And the rest of the disk we will give to Haiku, of course. So now let's set up the EFI partition. One day this will be part of the installer, but for now, pretty easy to do. Mount this as read write. EFI in there, new folder, boot, platform loaders, haiku loader.efi. Change this to boot x64.efi. And now let's run the installer. Oh, good, it sees the NVMe. <laughs> this is looking good. That's the fastest operating system install in the modern computing world. Oh, it's working! It's booting off the WD Black. Yeah, look at that. We are fully booted into a new Haiku install. Now, let me just bring up Pulse real quick. I want to see all of the CPUs. Yeah, look at that. 24 CPUs. Let's load up uh, the Haiku GLT pot running at 1400 frames per second on this i9. All right, let's add some teapots and see if we can do any damage here. Oh, you're adding hundreds of teapots. Let's make them all go in different directions. Oh my God, it's tea time at HP Lovecraft's house. Okay, now before we get too far into playing with this, let's put the computer all the way together, make it look a little bit more like a Zen B box, and then we'll have some fun gaming, doing internet stuff, and just using Haiku as if it's a reasonable daily driver, which I posit it is. Okay, so the computer is pretty much back together. These tubes are <laughs> barely long enough to reach the water cooler, which is mounted kind of sideways, but it looks pretty cool when it's all lit up but I wanna take this just a little bit further to really evoke the essence of the original B-Box, which actually had these two blinking light strips on the front. So what I wanna do is embed some LEDs back here behind these slats to kind of light up two vertical strips to hopefully evoke that iconic B-Box. And to that end, I think I have the perfect solution. I found these RGB rubbery strips, which we can mount in the case somewhere. So check this out. It's almost like these were made to fit this case because they slide in perfectly in this crevice and just fit very snugly with friction. The only thing I think I wanna do is cut these top pigtails off because we're not going to be daisy chaining these. All right, let's see how it looks. <laughs> oh, look at that. Oh, it's awesome. It's even better than I thought because these lights are just kind of reflecting off the plastic on the sides in a very bee box blinking light kind of way. <laughs> That's better than I expected. 
Okay, last tiny detail. I got these cool BOS stickers and I thought it would be neat if I 3D printed a little nameplate and put a sticker on it. So check this out. There it is, my modern Core i9 B-Box. All right, so let's see what all works here on our modern day B-Box build. Well, first of all, unfortunately, Wi-Fi doesn't work, but I'm on the wired internet just fine. Now to test audio, we have, of course, as is tradition, my early 2000s emo band, and I have some speakers hooked up. All right. All right, and I have the Pulse CPU activity tracker up so we can see how taxed this i9 is when we do stuff like try to play a YouTube video. Hey, it's our good friend Steve from Mac84. That Apple used, which is... Yeah, Falcon Browser has no issues, especially on this Core i9 CPU. Okay, so I'm very interested in how Minecraft is going to run here because of course Minecraft was never meant to run on Haiku, but it's Java and there's Java on Haiku. All right, yeah, look at this. It's Minecraft on Haiku. Okay, this is awesome. This is running way better than I've ever seen Minecraft on Haiku run. I mean, we've had slideshows running this on, you know, super weak laptops, but this is pretty great. Hey, it's a wolf. No, 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 stop that. All right, and here's the latest compatible version, 1.19.4, and I'll tell you what, it runs not as smooth as 1.13, and I turned down the view distance quite a bit, but it's playable, shockingly. Uh, well, I mean, saying that it's playable on a Core i9 and being surprised maybe isn't the best display of what Haiku is capable of, but this build was more about showing the potential of Haiku and the kind of work that's being done by really a very small team of hobbyists, enthusiasts, and just people who are passionate about this operating system and operating system development in general. And I'm just, I'm so grateful for all the hard work they do to make things like this possible. And uh, yeah, to me, that makes this build totally worth it. Now I'll tell you what, this build came out to about a thousand dollars for a very high end PC, which I'm, <laughs> very happy with. I mean, the case is beautiful. It's a Core i9. Micro Center had a great bundle deal on the CPU, the motherboard, and the RAM. And uh, yeah, look at this. Here we are playing Minecraft in Haiku, a very experimental, unsupported thing, and it's running pretty great. Okay, so not only was this build a ton of fun, but honestly, it exceeded my expectations. I went into this project knowing that Minecraft runs pretty poorly on Haiku, and I really just wanted to see how good we could get it. And <laughs> it's totally playable on here. I mean, we had to go to a Core i9 unlock to get it there, but we got it there. And I'm so grateful to Micro Center for letting me do this in their store. And I'm just grateful for Micro Center in general. I mean, a computer store that we can just go into and they're not only thriving, they're growing. They're actually about to open a new store in Charlotte, North Carolina. They are really keeping the dream alive of just a store that an enthusiast can go into and not only get everything they need, but talk to other enthusiasts and just have a good time. In any event, if you enjoyed this video, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. And if you thought Haiku was pretty cool, why not give it a try because it is pretty cool. And thank you very much for watching.
And a special thanks to Graham, Drew Hamlin, James Laurie, George Rosansky, Jesse Azell, Matthew Crowell, April White, James Fryman, Andrew Nicholson, Scott Cedarbaum, Frodo Jedi, Lyle Truid, Unknown Soldier 41, Tom Woodfin, Alex Hoffman, Veronica Explains, Paul Spencer, Control Alt Reese, Ryan, Chris Biggs, Jason Papaz, Scott Thompson, Camel Rakowski, Chris Nelson, Greg from Hot K Mods, Chris Calderon, and Gaspar Heller, who are my highest tiered patrons and all of my Patreon supporters for helping to make these videos possible.